We're going to end off tonight with an analytical geometry question because that's our theme for tonight. And the question we're going to end off with is a grade 11 question from analytical geometry and it's about the inclination of a straight line. So the inclination of a straight line, inclination of a straight line. Before I give you the question, just very briefly remember that the inclination of a straight line is the angle the straight line makes with the horizontal. That there is a horizontal line and the inclination is the angle the line makes with the horizontal. However, if the line is directed to the top left, then we must take the obtuse angle on the right of the line. So we always seem to take the angle that is to the right of the line towards the horizontal. So in this case, theta here would be the inclination and we see that theta is acute. And why would theta be acute? Because the line is directed up to the right. So when the line is directed up to the right, then we have an acute angle as the inclination. But when the line is directed down to the right or up to the left, then we have to take the obtuse angle as the inclination. All right. Finally, we know that gradient is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we know that if we have two points and those points have say x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 as coordinates, we know that when we do the change in y, let's fill in the triangle there, that's a straight line joining the two points with those coordinates. We know that when we do the gradient, we are taking the y minus the y, so we're subtracting the y values here, the change in y, and then we're dividing by the difference in the x values. But if you have this triangle, then from, remember our triangle in trigonometry, what is tan theta? Tan theta is exactly, by definition, y over x. So we're basically taking y over x, change in y, change in x, and we're doing the exact same thing as what we do for gradient. So hence the formula on your formula sheet, which gives you that m equals tan theta because tan, by definition, is y over x. And what is the gradient? It's the change in y over the change in x. Same thing. All right, so let's go to our question. What do we have that we can use? We have that m equals tan theta. Question says, find the inclination of the line passing through Find the inclination of the line passing through minus 2, minus 2, and 3, 4. So what we have is we have two points, and we simply want to find, let's just plot those points quickly. Minus 2, minus 2 is somewhere down here. Minus 2, minus 2, and 3, 4 would be somewhere up there. And if we join those two points with a straight line, uh, we get something like that, although it wouldn't be going through the origin. So let's just, I don't want to give you the impression that it is going through the origin when it's not. So let's just block those out. Let's just put two points there. There we go. That one would be minus 2, minus 2, and that one would be 3, 4. And then we are simply looking for the inclination. Inclination is that angle which the line makes with the positive x-axis, right, with the horizontal. The x-axis is horizontal. And we go to the right. Okay, well, what do we need to do? We need to use this formula right over here. So let's go to it. We're going to go m is the change in y over change in x. So 4 minus minus 2 over 3 minus minus 2. Notice how I take the y and I minus the other y 
Then I take the x and I minus the other x. It gives me 6 over 5. Minus times the minus plus. Don't forget minus minus plus. So 4 plus 2 is 6 and 3 plus 2 is 5. And now all I'm doing to find that angle theta is I'm saying, but hang on, I've got a formula that tells me the tan theta is the same as the gradient, the m of that line. So once I've worked out the m, I can make tan theta equal to that. If you take your calculator, and let's see if we can um, see this on the calculator. To solve that equation, you're going to go shift, the shift button, then tan, and we go shift tan because we're finding the equation. Then we're going to put the fraction button in, 6, and then we're going to divide by 5. Close my bracket, so shift tan, fraction button to put in the 6 over 5, and then equals. And the calculator gives me 50.1944. So correct to one decimal digit, the angle theta is 50,2, and so that is the inclination. Okay, a nice quick question, just to remind you about inclination. It's such an important concept, and you can be sure that there will be a question at the end of the year on inclination in your paper. Thank you.